What's up everybody? I'm Cody and this is my lovely wife Amanda. She's going to be joining us tonight. We got some requests after our last video. Now if you saw it, it was, it was basically just me uh, knocking on the door of my own house asking myself for a for some figgy pudding, like in the famous song. And we thought, what even is figgy pudding? Well, that's what everyone thought. Yeah, that's like a big Christmas thing, but no one actually knows what figgy pudding is or like how it's made or yeah. anything. So we looked it up, turns out it's not pudding. So it's I actually still haven't even seen a picture of this. I didn't look at anything, but what we decided we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make it. These ingredients look disgusting. <laughs> so here's, here's what we did. We actually pre-measured everything out. I would like to point out the absolute shocking amount of butter that goes into this. this and is, sugar. So like, that's a lot it's of a sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Also, notably, not that many figs. I know, <laughs> seriously though. We're gonna make it right in front of your eyes. We've, like I said, we've pre-measured the ingredients. If you wanna make it too, I've included a link in the description so you can actually check it out for yourself. Another note here is one of the reasons that people don't really make this very often, yes. because you need lots of tiny fancy cooking things to make it. Ramekins, ram ramekins, whatever those are. They're like these little, they're like what well, they serve souffle in. We realized, we, don't have that, we, realized so... we don't have any. So we're gonna literally just wing it. <laughs> we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna try our best. It says two and a half cups of self-rising flour. We're not fancy and we don't have that. So we're gonna do regular flour. <laughs> this might and be. hopefully it doesn't turn out like flat, like flat butt cakes. The thing is, we don't know enough about baking to know if that is a critical component no, that, of this. No, it is. It is definitely a critical component, but I don't <laughs> It's not like we just pulled these ingredients together today. We got figs. <laughs> like we could have bought hey, this. Wait, no, let cool for about five minutes, then add to a blender and puree. We don't have a blender. Oh my gosh. It's okay. We have the teeny tiny one. We have a food processor. We have a teeny tiny one. Okay, let's do That's that. That's not the same as a blender. Oh my gosh. On step one, we ran into our very first snag literally 30 seconds after we started. We don't have a blender. So Amanda's gonna try to use a food processor. It's a tiny food processor. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. While Amanda's working on the figs and the dates, I'm going to work on the whipping cream, which is for the sauce, I believe. Didn't know there was sauce. Don't know what this is. It's so tiny, we used to use it for baby food. That is ridiculously small. <laughs> Where did we even buy that? They said, do the butter and the sugar. We have two different like things of butter and sugar. Two different butters and two different sugars. Yeah, and they didn't specify. <laughs> it worked. Our tiny food processor is a champ. <laughs> it looks like diarrhea, but it smells like, like diarrhea. Like diarrhea. <laughs> Whenever I make something like this, I'm always like, what could this possibly do? You know <laughs> what I mean? This you know what I mean? What could this, how could this help anything? It's science. Okay, my mixture's coming along well. Amanda, how's yours? <laughs> Don't look at that, it's disgusting. It's like chili. <laughs> Fold in the flour, the pureed date mixture. You're working on that. And the chocolate. I actually grated these myself from Hershey bars. <laughs> It's supposed to be dark chocolate, but we didn't have any dark chocolate. Oh! I know it looks so gross. This looks it? like this looks like a swamp. Like this is like a Star Wars swamp. Really if George Lucas saw this, he'd be like, write that down, write that down. It doesn't look right. Okay, something happened. I don't know what happened. He what said, did, "What did we do?" He said to fold in the flour, and I did that, and it looked weird. I shouldn't panic. Looks fine. Well, I mean, the the dates are gonna have like some liquid to them. Are you bored of the regular insulation in your walls? <laughs> Try chocolate insulation. Okay, so I think our fig and date mixture is done. Although, we don't know how long we're supposed to boil it. It doesn't say. But, but I'm, I'm gonna call that good. Look! It looks like Shrek's outhouse in there. <laughs> What's so funny? What do you, why are you laughing at that? What's, what do you think is funny about that? It smells horrible in here. It really does not smell good. It smells so it bad. It smells like gross raisins. <laughs> it's stinky. <laughs> and it smells bad. You put it in and then it starts to climb. I'm just trying to like let it up slowly because it's, look what it's <laughs> You should lick it. No. Just try. I don't even want to eat this. <laughs> Put the mixture into four buttered, one cup individual ramekins. Four? It's <laughs> I think we'll have enough to fill this whole muffin tin. And then some. 
Definitely. So we'll see. I have coated the tray with pan cooking spray, TM. Amanda is going to fill the cups halfway or under, it says. I'm just gonna do it like cupcakes. Like three fourths of the way, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> It smells like the inside of a gerbil cage. <laughs> like, you know, like a pet store, how it just doesn't smell right? <laughs> yes. That's what it smells like. That ain't right. That ain't right. <laughs> yeah. Well, it also doesn't really look right. It's literally just sludge. I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to... This might be flawless. This might be absolutely flawless figgy pudding. <laughs> and I have no idea because I don't know what this is even supposed to look like. You've, you're the only one that's seen a picture of it. It looks like a cake, not even like a pudding. <laughs> this doesn't look like a cake or a pudding. <laughs> this just looks like sludge. So I don't even know what the heck we're doing here. And then we can make the sauce. I guess there's sauce. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what this is. Okay. They are baking right now, those two trays of figgy pudding. We need to make the sauce, because I guess they're sauce. So that's what we're starting on. They're baking right now. Let's go. Prepare the sauce by stirring the sugar and cream in a medium saucepan over low heat. What sugar? Which Kay. one? Well, okay, hold on, hold on. Though, because the ingredients have like this and then the sauce. Wait, I think it's in with the sauce. Let's... Are you sure? Yes, okay. Sauce. Oh, sauce. Two cups brown sugar. Oh. oh. <laughs> Guys, we made a great mistake. We made a horrible, horrible mistake. We are going through what ingredients we still have. That's, that's the baking soda. It's amazing to me that a tiny amount of powder can definitely ruin your entire figgy pudding. I didn't really have high hopes for this anyway. <laughs> I don't, we're not cooking it according to the recipe. We don't know what it's supposed to taste like, so we have no frame of reference here. I honestly don't think it's gonna be the, that big of a deal. We have no idea what's even supposed to happen. Like, we don't know what it's supposed to turn into. I don't think it's gonna, I can't imagine it changing that much, seriously. Oh no. Oh boy. There's a little poop on our counter. I don't think leaving the baking soda out is gonna change anything because we already just altered it so much. <laughs> we already just are so bad. I'm sure it would have been okay if we had everything that we were supposed to, but. Yeah, I don't know about that. So we mix all these three, right? <laughs> Look yes. how much butter that is. That is an insane amount of butter. An unholy amount of butter. Good, we're gonna need it to cover up the mistakes. So. These look like veggie cupcakes. They really <laughs> like do. Like vegan cupcakes. Although, they're like, Stop it. They're very dense. But they, was... they actually turn out like surprisingly well. and they actually well. smell, they actually smell kind of good. This is what they look like. They literally just like, look like veggie cupcakes. It was my fault. No, it was not. It was my step though, that I missed. It's fine. You were doing fine. Okay, now we are making some caramel topping to go on top of it. This is the sauce that we were working on earlier. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to bake stuff. I cook. I, I like cooking. I, baking is not really my thing, mm -hmm. but I love. I like to cook a lot. I kind of like it because I feel like I'm doing science experiments. Is it ready yet? Is it boiling? Fig. Okay, the thing is, <laughs> this just looks like a bad muffin. It this does. this weighs five times more he more than it looks. They literally are like. Quiet, <laughs> <laughs> quiet. Listen. <laughs> I kid you, are you not. Ready? I kid. I kid. Stop it. <laughs> I kid you not, that has the weight of like a baseball. It does not look cool. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's be real, this is how we would eat it if, even if it was... <laughs> even if it was really good, this is how we would eat it. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's 95% whipped cream. I'm gonna try this part first. <laughs> But it's so dense, I can barely cut through it. <laughs> you just spit it everywhere. It's so dense, I can barely cut through it. I just can't wait. <laughs> I'm drooling with anticipation. I can't believe I just drooled. <laughs> I was just not gonna say anything. Okay. I think it's really good. It's a big piece of fig. But 
No, we have to try it without the sauce. In the I'm not doing that. Yes, you have to. You really miss the consistency of Play-Doh. And I, oh my gosh, you can even play with it like Play-Doh. <laughs> it's mold, it molds. It just tastes like pizza dough. Like it doesn't taste like any, like pizza dough with sugar in it. I am gonna say this though. If we baked this the right way, I think the consistency would be better, but I think the taste would be exactly the same. This recipe deserves to die out. <laughs> It is, it was probably, it was good when people ate like six blueberries in their whole life and that was like the highlight of their food for their whole life. His name is Iggy Pudding. <laughs> Iggy Pudding. I actually think if you combine it with the other flavors, I actually, well you're eating it like if it's a cake with no frosting. Yeah, I know, Like no one eats a it cake like with no frosting is so good. So what I'm I mean, saying. with caramel and whipped cream. It's really not half bad. It's like a good base, I think. This is one of those recipes where I get why people liked it at one point, because it's like, you know, it is a little bland, but like we're also used to like way it's more true. sugar in it's food. It's true, it's true. This was probably like a king's meal. If yeah. Dave Ramsey's watched. Dave, Dave Ramsey. <laughs> if Dave Ramsey's no. watching this video. Dallin was in the neighborhood, so we're letting him try the figgy pudding as well. What do you think? What do you think? I can see this as like, there are probably easier and better desserts for this time of year, so that's probably why this isn't, 100%, probably yeah. isn't popular anymore, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as minced meat pie, dad. Well, fellow questers, thank you for joining us today. We hope you're excited for the holidays, that you're able to find something enjoyable to do with your family. Yeah. You know, we know it's been a crazy year, so thank you for all your support. Please yes. like and subscribe if you like our content, and if Every you week. if you want to be notified when our videos go live, because sometimes they're different days, please Ring hit the, please hit that bell notification. It will let you know automatically when a video goes live. A Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy, happy New, New year. year. Yeah, I just didn't realize there's two happies. <laughs> I'll just say Happy Christmas, Ron. Happy Christmas. <laughs>Oh, hey man, what's up? Hey, Cody, uh, good to see you. I just happened to be in the neighborhood. That's good to see you. Yeah, and uh, a little bird told me that you uh, you have some figgy pudding. Yeah, we, uh, remember I told you we were gonna make some for a video this week, remember? <laughs> Bring some right here. I won't go until I get some. <laughs>